Hello guys, it's Chagun here with another video from my HEC uh, MyTouch 3G. Um, this video is um, all only for beginners, which should show the totally basic stuff of Android, which uh, some of you don't have to know already, and some of you don't, because I got some few requests that uh, some people are overwhelmed with the stuff I show, and without seeing the basics, of course, you can't enjoy uh, the features which I mainly show in my videos. So this uh, video said again is for for beginners, for noobs, and we'll show the totally basic stuff on Android. So firstly, um, some of me asked how did you get the, the, the icons on the screen? This is very simple. First, um, you know you got this menu bar where you can got your basic stuff. You can just long press it and drag it onto your screen where you can move it from anywhere you want. If you want to change to another screen, you just hold it to the side and the screen will uh, switch. So to get these uh, icons, you go to the Android market, this um, icon here you should have on your home screen already, and you see this view um, of uh, applications. Some are free, some are paid, you can just flick through, search for some applications that sound interesting to you, Let's go to top three and search for um, some. Uh, um, let's take I don't know snake looks interesting. So just press on it. Read the description. You see it's free. You see here you don't see screenshots, but you can just press install here. It's really that user friendly. Press install. It's going to be downloaded. It says soon you will see in the notification bar the download sign. You can easily go to your home screen by pressing um, here the main screen button. Anywhere you are, you just are back to your home screen. Now you can drag the notification bar, which is for email, SMS, or any no kind of no notification you get. Missed calls, also you see here. You can delete them by pressing the delete button. Or you see a hot snake is uh, installed. You can either press on it here to open the application or let it just vanish that is not anymore here but it's now on your phone so it is in the um, in this menu here and so let's search for snake this is alphabetical order so it's pretty easy to find there it is snake just put it here and you have it on your home screen and if you drag it to your home screen it's still in this menu so it doesn't vanish from the menu so everything you have is in the menu and the dr things you drag to your home screen, you have actually um, twice as icons. To create these folders like this, I did, which simplify uh, the navigation. For example, I have my games folder here. Long press here, press um, folder. <laughs> now you can have a new folder, which I have here. You can have a folder for your contacts. You can have a notes folder, a Facebook folder, any kind of uh, folder. Here I press new folder, here I got the folder. Just long press on the application you want, drag it over the folder and it's in. To give the folder a name, just long press on the title here and you can type and name it. Okay. For example, I did also a folder for my contacts here, my special contacts, which I just can flick through. This you can also make. So to um, get the widgets, you lo long press on the home screen. Anywhere you are, press widgets. And all the widgets you have downloaded from the market or which are already pre-installed um, are here to see. So you can, let's say, um, I don't know, just press on the one you want search bar and you got the search bar here and to change the background you also long press here press background if you want to want a picture from uh, pictures which I guess also cover the one in your SD card or go to the gallery press gallery of uh, the gallery which is how I have the pre-installed pictures and pictures are the ones from your SD card so you got the nice overview just tap on the um, picture here, the button right here, and have it as your background. 
So you guys which are not familiar yet with Android and not familiar with touchscreen phone, the best thing really is to practice. Just play with it, just press buttons, look what happens, learning by doing is the best way too. And it will, trust me, it will be easier uh, with each minute you spend on the phone and it will make a lot of fun and soon you'll be very handy with it and it will work great, trust me. Just get through and don't give up. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.